On the 4th of October, 2002, a bizarre guest arrived on the Coast to Coast AM radio show with Art Bell. The host had a reputation for analyzing mysterious themes with intriguing guests, but only few had ever sounded as amazed as this one. The guest, Dallas Thompson, was a legally blind personal trainer who spent his boyhood in Hawaii, but now lived in Bakersfield, California. Five years earlier, his life had changed forever after a terrible car accident. He was driving along the highway during heavy rain when his car hydroplaned at 70 miles an hour, spinning four times before falling from a cliff about 250 feet. When he was found, the top of his car had been crushed almost to the floor. The fireman who responded to the scene was astonished that he hadn't been decapitated. But miraculously, Thompson survived. Transported to a safe zone, he then had an unbelievable near death experience. Thompson had visions of the past in which he saw the coming pole shift, and a terrible changeover, claiming at least 2 billion people were going to die. People are feeling it, they know something is going on, but they can't put their finger on it. Besides this vision, he also saw the portals at the poles, a clue from the tribes of old that a safe haven existed deep beneath the crust of the earth. As Thompson said, he only remembered what was forgotten. After having these visions, it became his quest to inform and protect the people on the surface from the coming pole shift and the rising threat of Wormwood or Planet X. According to his plan, he saw shelter for humans within the hollow earth, and he wanted to find a way inside as he was guided by the visions he had during that near, death experience. He came on Coast to Coast AM to discuss his mission to uncover and explore the underground world. Dallas Thompson's vision of the hollow earth was a complicated tapestry of portals and caves, underground secret roads, reptilians and tribes of old, ending at the very center with a bright light. He claimed that there were cavern systems which cross the entire mantle, and that the holes into the hollow earth really exist, that monks frequently travel through the cracks in order to visit the mythical Tibetan village called Shambhala. During his vision, he saw that the beings living there were protected from pollutants and harmful rays because of the special atmosphere in the hole. Thompson pictured planet Earth as a hive. Aliens from other worlds had other hives and they would travel from planet to planet, from hive to hive, and they sometimes visited Earth. He stated that the civilization beneath our feet was a mixture of various ancient tribes, people and legendary creatures long extinct on the surface, like mammoths and saber-toothed tigers. It also offered shelter to gods like the Anunnaki and the Nephilim, as well as the ancient civilizations of Atlantis and Lemuria. Inside Earth, they existed beyond the third dimension, undisclosed and sheltered from the world structed on the surface. According to Thompson, people and beings there exist in a different transition of time, therefore living for thousands of years, guarded from the destructive cosmic rays and other pollutants which can be found on the surface of Earth. He also stated that the Poles had an interdimensional security system which allowed the advanced civilization beneath to track all activity on the surface. Because of this reason, Thompson knew that they were already waiting for his arrival, and so his mission was destined and already programmed. Once he managed to lower himself into the opening, he would then be maneuvered, similar to Admiral Bird's journey, into an electromagnetic sphere, which would offer him protection for the rest of his journey down. This, he just knew, I know because I know because I know. Dash Dallas Thompson. Perhaps most incredibly, Dallas Thompson announced he had secured funding to travel to the North Pole in search of the hole that would lead him to the inner Earth. He wanted to dis the center of the Earth using a modified Solo Trek personal helicopter. Thompson would cross the portal from his vision and venture into the crystal cities of Shambhala, where he would request shelter from the coming pole shift for him and his followers. The trip was scheduled for May 24, 2003. Of course, Thompson had his critics and unbelievers, some of them phoned to tell their opinions about him, calling Dallas crazy as a lunar manic and delusional. Other people were more concerned about his safety, one listener wondering about the well to hell. The intriguing recording of atrocious screams picked up by a Russian researcher drilling a hole in Siberia. As time passed by, rumors of Thompson's expedition began to spread. Soon enough, he began to receive emails from media companies willing to tell his upcoming story. The book he had written, which contained his theories about the hollow earth, started to sell rapidly. On December 29, 2002, 
two months after his appearance on Coast to Coast AM, he wrote a message on his Yahoo group reporting a wave of over 5,000 emails every couple of days. The mysterious part starts when Dallas Thompson announced that his book, Cosmic Manuscript, had become a bestseller but he was also pulling it from sale. I have requested the book to be discontinued even though it's still at the top of the charts in Canada. In the end, the journey to the North Pole never took place because all of a sudden, Dallas Thompson disappeared.